what's up guys it's the girl and so welcome back to my channel if you're new to my channel welcome 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 if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet click that subscription button right down below and turn on that notification bell so that you could be notified anytime i upload a new video before I start this video, please like, share, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to come over. It is free to subscribe, guys. All you gotta do is just click on that red button and that's it. Turn on the post notification so that you can be notified anytime I upload a video. And also, guys, watch these ads. It really, really, really means a lot to me when you guys watch my ads because then I also get paid by that. So whenever you guys watch my, watch my ads, which is like maybe about two minutes, three minutes video, you guys are helping me out. And you're helping me out to help others in the long run. So um, I really appreciate that if you guys continue to watch the ads. In today's video, I'll be sharing someone's story. And this story is titled, um, My Victory Over Cigarette. So this person who is writing to me now, or who wrote to me, is a pastor. And um, she is just sharing her story so that other people out there could actually, um, you know, maybe learn from it um also guys if you guys have a story to tell and you guys want to share it with the world don't be afraid to email me my email is business.anthonet at gmail.com so you guys could just click it's in my bio so check it out and just uh, shoot me an email and i'll be sure to read your um your stories also if you want any advice and once i could have this i will also be doing that but let's get into today's video so the story is titled, My Victory Over Cigarettes. And I begin. I cannot recall the exact date I experimented with cigarettes, but I was about 16 years old. My elder brother had taken me to a birthday party at a friend's house, and I noticed a lot of girls were smoking. One offered me a cigarette and I declined, thinking of what my brother would say. But he nodded to me and I decided, oh well, everybody's doing it and I took the cigarette. It was very awkward, and at my first exhale, I coughed. Another exhaled and I coughed again. But I continued and after the girl showed me how to inhale and exhale, I got the hang of it. I smoked another one before I left the party and I remember feeling all grown up. Mm -hmm. I see you. A few days passed and I forgot all about the cigarette until I was at the beach one day with, uh, with a few friends. One of them was smoking and handed the pack of cigarettes to everyone. I took one. This time I did not cough and it actually felt good. Nobody smoked in my home and so it was hard for me to get a cigarette. But I would go walking with my brother and he would allow me to smoke. I had to be very careful because if my parents or siblings found out, I would be given a sound beating. Own in the Caribbean. <laughs> I smoked through college and no one at home knew about it until one day I was smoking in my room and my sister pushed the door and saw me. I begged her not to say anything but she gave me a quite she gave me quite a lecture and threatened to tell my parents if she ever saw me again. That's a good sister. That however did not deter me and I smoked every chance I got. Soon it was not a secret anymore and my mother to my relief did not beat me but gave me a lecture all about the dangers of smoking and how nasty it looked to see a young lady with a cigarette. Needless to say, I did not feel bad and actually pr promised her to stop, but I couldn't keep my promise. I had already been addicted. And guys, when you're addicted to something, it's a hell of a thing because you have to have like a strong mindset to really and truly um, give it up, give up that addiction. Trust me, whatever you're addicted to, it could be you're addicted to social media, you're addicted to phones, you're addicted to money, you're addicted to whatever you're addicted to. It could be a struggle if you're trying to um, get out of a situation that involves that addiction. I got married and it continued, but my husband was totally against it. He had tried on many occasions to help me and I lied to him many, many, many times. I would be glad when he was out of the house so I could smoke. But it was his mother who got to me. She told me she was ashamed of me and she wished her son would leave me. She told me I was a bad example to her granddaughter and explained the dangers of smoking. 
I felt very bad, but then I just went outside and I smoked. However, I noticed that I was developing a cough and when I went to the doctor, he asked if I smoked and when I answered yes, he told me try and cut it out. I had to listen, but it proven to be very challenging. I would buy a pack of cigarettes. When my conscience got the better of me, I would throw the pack in the dustbin. But a few hours later, I would retrieve it. I realized I needed help and I was crying a lot and I was depressed. But I just couldn't get cigarettes out of my head. I would smoke every chance I get. One day, after a fight with my husband, I decided I had to let it go. He told me he was going to take his daughter and leave me with my cigarette and my cough. It's funny how it takes situations for us to actually, um, you know, get it right, you know? Um, so where was I? I was devastated and so I decided I had to give up my addiction. I prayed to God and asked him to help me, but I still smoked. One day, I called an old teacher whom I trust a lot and told her everything. She told me the next time I pray to ask God to take away the craving and I did that. She quoted Psalms 107 verse 19 which says, Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble and he saved them from their distress. I prayed the prayer she recommended and, and day by day I started to feel better. The earth was still there but I was determined to save my marriage and get my health back on track. I prayed every chance I got and God saved me. I was free from the addiction and I felt wonderful. To date, I have not even looked at a cigarette. The dangers of cigarette smoking is real. It is even written on the pack, of, but sorry, it is even written on the pack, but addiction is a serious thing. I thank God that I was able to cry out to him and that he saved me. My advice to anyone in a, in my advice to anyone in any addictive position is to get out as soon as you can and trust God. He is able to do abundantly all and more than we ask for. Captain Lever Halen. Thank you so much for sharing your story, Captain Lever Halen. Um, I am glad that you were willing to um, share a story with us because you're not only sharing it with me, but you're actually sharing it with, sharing it with the world. And we don't know who might be out there that needs to hear this story, who might be out there that is trying to um, basically stop, quit something in life that they're doing, some addiction that they may have, they're trying to quit and it's just so hard. So um, based on what your story is saying, basically all we have to do is just look to God. Whatever we're struggling with, we just have to ask God to help us through this time. Ask God to um, lead us in the way that he wants us to go so that we will have the strength, we will get the strength to do what we are supposed to do. I mean, I know exactly how it feels to be addicted to something and it's really a challenge when you're trying to get out of that situation and get out of or quit some type of addiction. It's really hard to get out of it and I mean, petty, petty prayers won't work. Like, we have to sincerely mean these prayers and just let everything out, whatever, whatever we're struggling, talk to him about it and then that is going to help because it's not going to just happen overnight it's not going to just happen in the blink of an eye it takes work and it takes you too as a person to want it um so much more that so much that you are willing to let it go regardless of how it might make you feel at the end of the day i hope that was a good advice and if you're out there and you're listening and you're just trying to um you know um if you're trying to get rid of some addiction i don't know what the addiction might be but if you have if you're struggling with something and um you you feel like you need um someone to talk so i am here follow me on my socials um the link are down in my description box down below and thank you guys so so much for watching this video once again if you're new to my channel welcome 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 if you haven't subscribed to my channel as yet click that subscription button right down below and turn on that notification bell so that you could be notified anytime i upload a new video so i always remember to say true to yourself because there's nobody in this world that is better than you there's only one you and there's no one else and there's no one else period you know so uh, stay true to yourself love yourself be you don't worry about what anybody else has to say you just do you and be yourself love yourself put yourself first 
at the end of the day. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Hey, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. Tell a friend. Hey, tell a friend. But I just say to subscribe to her channel. Until next time, guys. Peace.